Hello and welcome to another edition of what I like to refer to as CSI Civil War or CSI Gettysburg. What we see here today is a very famous photograph from the Battle of Gettysburg. This famous uh, photograph was referred to as a dead Confederate sharpshooter. It was taken in uh, Devil's Den on or about July 6th, 1863 by uh, the photographer Alexander Gardner. Now in this photograph, again, trying to depict a dead Confederate sharpshooter. But if you look closely, it really is not a, de a sharpshooter. And I'm going to show you some ways that we can uh, narrow down why this is not a sharpshooter. If you look at the, if you, there's a gentleman by the name of uh, William Frasinito who did some research and actually determined that the, this photograph was actually staged and that this body was actually moved from s about 60 yards behind where the camera position is situated right here. So when the photographers uh, came upon the body originally, they took some photographs and then they walked up over the hill and they saw this uh, this pile of rocks in between this little sharpshooter's nest, if you will. They decided to carry the body up over the hill and stage this photograph. And I'm going to show you how we can uh, use this photograph from the Library of Congress and dig into it a little bit and start acting like a, a crime scene investigator and a historian. The first thing that you need to do, you need to go out to the Library of Congress website on the selected photographs of the American Civil War and look for the images with the TIF format. It's a tagged encapsulated format. And what that is is they're very large files. They're like 25 or 50 megabytes in size. Now you don't want to download these on a very, lar on a, uh, very slow internet connection, but what you want to do is go out there and get that very large fo uh, format. And you're going to see it. There's going to be a JPEG version, a JPG, and a TIFF version. And you're going to see various different sizes. Make sure you get the biggest one. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to download, uh, to zoom in on these pictures and see that uh, without distorting the picture. So if you've ever downloaded a JPEG image and you wanted to... Um, to look at it and you try to blow it up and it got all pixelated and all blurry and things like that. Well, that won't happen here if you're using this raw uh, TIFF format. So what we see here, uh, you can see the, the dead soldier laying here on the ground. You can see, clearly see his musket laying up against the, the, the rocks here. Uh, you can see some other things. Um, you could kind of make out his hat over here. You could kind of make out some other things over in here. Out in the background, this is little round top very hard to see out here in the background. Now I'm just using a free uh, program called uh, just using preview you can use uh, a, any program that you want that you might have any image program you can use uh, GIMP GIMP which is a, a free open source photo editing program but what I'm going to do is just going to go up here and I'm going to hit uh, zoom and I'm going to zoom in on this pro photograph a little bit. So now you start to see that the details in the photograph become a lot clearer. Now let's see what we can pick out. Now we can really clearly see this musket. We can also see the type of jacket and start counting the number of buttonholes on on the uh, on the jacket. We could see his cartridge box right here. Can you if you could see his cartridge box right there in that area? The cartridge box was used uh, to hold the cartridges that would have been loaded into the musket. We could start to see his shoes and his socks down here. Um, Zooming in, we could see his shirt and how his pants are starting to uh, blow up because of the rain and hot weather, the, the, the effects of decomposition on, on the body. So let's take a minute and zoom in on this very important piece of this, of this historical photograph, which is this musket over here. So I'm just hitting zoom in. I'm going to zoom in on this musket and start to look at it. Now, if you examine this musket compared with originals that you can find, pictures, and you can find pictures of originals on the internet, you'll notice that it's a three-band model 1861 Springfield. It's clearly not a, uh, a sharpshooter's rifle. One is, in fact, the typical musket that is carried by soldiers uh, throughout the Civil War. This actual musket can actually be seen in other photographs that were taken by Gardner and his team. And we can continue to zoom in here and look right at the lock plate of the, of the musket and see the firing mechanism. So this hammer would come down, strike the cone right here, and ignite a, a little percussion cap that would provide a spark that would go inside the barrel 
light the powder that's in the barrel, and then fire the musket. Now while I'm zoomed in on this, on this musket, I could scroll down here a little wee bit, and I can go over here and look at his, uh, you can see the, the blanket that the soldier is laying on right here, parts of the blanket. You can also see uh, this is the blanket that the cameraman used to carry the body up over. You can start to you can see his socks that he's wearing, some holes in his raggedy pants that he has. You can see his low cut shoes. Um, so again, think of yourself or have ask your students this question. You know, this soldier was marching out of the south here a couple of days ago, marching into Pennsylvania, and here he is, you know, dead on a battlefield in, in Gettysburg, far from home. Does his fan does his family even know that he's dead? So here we can see uh, the cartridge box. You can see the uh, the inner flap, the inner flap of the cartridge box right here. You can see the outer flap up here resting over his knee. And the reason for that was again it was a safety feature in case there was a fire inside it. It would protect uh, would protect the the body the, the soldier from any explosions. If we scroll over here, we could see the hat that the soldier was wearing. Uh, right here on the ground, you can kind of make out the outline of the hat right there on the ground. I don't want to gross anybody too far out here, but again, let's take a look at the, the decomposition of, of the body. So we can scroll and we can see his pants are, are split open. You know, what? ask your students, what would be the effects of, you know, 90 degree heat? You know, this soldier probably died on July 2nd. It's now four days later, rain and um, and hot weather, 80, 90 degree weather on in July on a body that's wrapped in wool. You could start to see his the the effects of decomposition on his hands right here. So you could start to see his hands wrinkled right there, uh, and how that's affecting him. You, again, we're going to count his buttonholes. You could see the pocket outlined in his coat right here. So you see the top of the pocket going down around. We can and you can research what jackets looked like or what types of jackets southern soldiers would have worn during the Civil War. You could see, uh, you know, haversack here or, uh, you know, parts of something. You could see something back here. Never been ever, never been 100 percent positive what this is, what this is back here. So if you can figure that out or you have ideas, let me know. Um, down here on the ground are some type of there's some type of object right here. This could be anything from a scabbard to a, possibly a scope or something. Or we're not real. Sh I'm not real sure. Uh, I would go with a bayonet scabbard, more than likely. Also, right here, you could see all this white stuff. See all this white stuff right here. This is cartridges. Because when Civil War soldiers would uh, open up their and fire their muskets, they would tear off the uh, the end of their end of the paper in their cartridge. And pour the powder down the barrel, and then and then take it, um, and throw out the excess paper, and then you know uh, put the ball down the end of the musket with their ramrod. So this is debris from loading and firing of a Civil War musket that you can see right here on the ground. Again, you can continue to to surf around and look at this photograph without ever having you know without getting any distortion at all. I mean, you could start to see if you look really closely, you could see. Uh, chips in the rock where bullets actually hit it. So it's just a really cool way for you to engage your students in a little activity called CSI Gettysburg. Start acting like historians, looking for clues of what might have happened in that location.